Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. Um, this week's video is very last um minute. The reason for that is because I currently have no Wi-Fi. Uh, um, if you guys haven't heard, a hurricane whipped through my city and has left many people, including me, without power and the internet for nearly a week. So, um, I'm struggling. I haven't been on my PC in a week and I miss playing The Sims real bad. I miss my phone battery not dying from using my hotspot all freaking day. Like, holy moly. So yeah, what we're doing today? We're gonna be playing Would You Rather. Simple, very easy, piece of cake vibes, you know? Would you rather? The first would you rather question is, would you rather be the funniest person alive or be the most attractive person alive? <laughs> what if you're already both? Like, no, no, stop, no. We have to really think about this. This is a life or death like scenario, to be honest. Okay. So from my perspective, being the funniest person alive as a woman is very intimidating for men. But also being the most attractive person alive is also very intimidating for men and for women as well. The like, first person alive, you make people happy. You make people laugh. Do men like funny women? Like genuinely funny women? Not like women who just laugh at their jokes. Like guys are like, oh, I want to grow a good humor. Which basically just means that they want a girlfriend that they can make uh, offensive jokes to and they'll just laugh. Laugh and clap like a monkey. But like do men want actually like genuinely funny women like comedian women i don't really care because it's about me and i'm not here to to please men and this is about myself so i don't even know why they're in my head like that um i would choose to be the funniest person alive the amount of play i would get is just incredible and um looks are just not it, that they're okay they're cool i can always buy it <laughs> but you can't buy humor 37 percent these 53 percent people are stupid stupid okay next scenario would you have to have a car that could drive underwater i have a car that can fly guys i am not going anywhere near the water I love the water. I'm a water sign. And I love sharks. Those are my favorite sea animal. But I personally have a fear of things that are underneath water. I think that's called like the lassophobia or something. I, 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 like, yeah, like flying is so much better because it's one, it's faster than going into water. Like I can, if I have a flying car, I can travel to different like continents and countries so much faster than it driving me for water that's so stupid yeah oh my god oh, absolutely flying cars so much better the water is disgusting wrestle an alligator or wrestle a bear i'm assuming let's just say this is on land i'm choosing the alligator immediately bears can climb they can grab because they have like hands like us they're pretty smart they're pretty smart and i'll probably get blinded by their cuteness you know they'll probably be like just be so cute and instant i'm like oh look at the bear if it was a crocodile that would be a different scenario but it's an alligator bro all i have to do is get on that thing grab it by a snout bend it back and it's done for bro i, I could def bro i can fight an alligator bro don't play with me bro i can fight an alligator and i'll win I believe I, I truly believe I can. I truly believe I can. Yeah! And the majority agrees with me. Would you rather have everyone judge slash think about everything you do or have nobody care about you at all? Okay. So this is a little bit serious. So we're going to take this very seriously. 
the problem with the first one is that I already think that way. <laughs> I already believe that everyone is judging me and thinking about me. When I know they're not. <laughs> I know that they're not. I know that no one really cares about me. Except like my mom. But in my mind, it's like everyone has eyes on me. Everyone is like, oh, she's cringy. Oh, she's like weird. Oh my gosh, why is she like that? That's what my head goes through. Um, and it is honestly miserable. It's a miserable feeling, and I hate it. And I really want it to leave. However, when you think about the latter, um, having nobody care about you at all, at all, that is very lonely. Very lonely. No one care about you at all. That means like basically you have no friends and family. That's basically what that means. You're alone. I think I'm gonna choose have everyone judge so I think about everything you do because even like the people that do want to care about me I want them to care about me if that makes sense oh wow 52 percent wow, I'm in the minority uh, I'm used to that feeling would you rather only have one hand or would you rather have only one leg okay guys hands are very important right my left hand is so useless I do everything with my right hand and I can't even think of one thing this hand could do correctly. I can't even brush my teeth with this hand. I can't do my hair with this hand really. I can't put makeup with this hand. I can't eat with this hand. Yo, this hand is quite useless. However, legs are very important. I think we really underestimate the power of legs, bro. What if a zombie apocalypse breaks out? What are you gonna do? With only one leg, I mean, you could survive. I mean, like, uh, Herschel did, kind of. Not really, though. He was, it was very tough for him. But, like, you, if you have to run, that's a tough situation. And you can run with only one hand. The only thing you're, you can't do with one hand is probably, I think you pretty much do everything with one hand. I, I, I would only have one hand. That's, 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 no, yeah. What? The 46% who chose that, like, what was your thinking? 46%? Are you serious? I mean, like, okay, I know there's people out there with one leg, and you're very special, and I appreciate you, and I, I hope you're okay, but personally, you could also have one of those prosthetics. And it is what it is, whatever. Would you rather see the future or change the past? So, if you guys ever seen that movie, like any movie, basically like uh, Back to the Future, uh, Wizards of Every Place, the movie, you would know never to change the past because if you do, you might end up not existing. Um, everything happens for a reason. No, well, no, I don't know. Everything happens for a reason in this timeline. You think you just um, fell out of a coconut the past, tree? <laughs> you, can, you can really affect the things of the future. And if that's your goal, if you're willing to risk, if you want to risk your existence or risk the existence of other things which can detrimentally change what we know now as the present, then go ahead, change the past, be a f***ing dumbass. For me, however, I personally, I personally don't want to see the future either, to be honest, because, um, what would I do for, with that information? You think someone is going to believe me if I see something and be like, oh yeah, I saw this in the future. No, nope. people are going to think I'm psychotic and they're going to put me in a psych ward and I won't be able to talk to anybody to prevent happening. Like, that's so stupid. But like, it depends on the future. Like, if I'm seeing my future, I feel like they'll also fuck me because then I'll be like, okay, what are the choices that I have to make? What are the choices that I must make to make this path happen? And I'll overthink about the choices and I'll end up making different choices and then and then the, the, that, that future that I saw won't happen. It would be a different future. But that's still way better than, like, changing the present now. Even if it is for the better, some things might not happen. And, um, yeah. See the future, for sure. Pretty close one. Uh, I wish I had, like, a comment section so I could see, like, people's thoughts and, like, reasonings for this, but... Have the power to specifically... Erase 10 of your memories or be able to see the memories of others by touching them. Now, this is a weird one because if I were to see others' memories, I would 
have to think strategically about that you know and how i would use that and go about using it as like a normal person i don't really see the use for that i guess i could go into like the crime and justice field and just like send mother to jail or some shit. but like i'm not trying to do that i really do not care and i i personally don't want to work um have the power to specifically raise 10 of your memories that's also a tough one because your memories make who you are today so if i were to erase those memories would i be a different person would i have different beliefs different thoughts man this is tough guys but i'm selfish so i'm gonna pick myself never be able to feel anything emotionally again or never be able to never be able to <laughs> never be able to feel anything physically again okay well um i already don't feel anything emotionally Ooh, this one's crazy okay would you rather have your mind serve as an ipod so you can listen to music any time be able or be able to watch your dreams on television i have a phone i can already listen to music whenever i want to and i know the lyrics in my head so why would i need my brain to be an ipod but this be able to watch your dreams on television now we're talking because tell me what every time i wake up from my dream by the way when i dream it's a very it's very intense i wake up in sweats i it's always real and it always affects me for the rest of my day like i literally cannot uh go up on my day without thinking of it and then like the next morning i'll forget about it completely or i just they feel so real to me and i would love to like relive through some of them because of how real they felt i've had dreams that literally predicted the future i've had dreams that that oh my god i can't even talk about it is actually crazy so yeah i would love to see my dreams on television all of them the traumatic ones the nightmares the loved ones oh my god though i can't even because like i've oh my god the romances i've had in my dreams are sickening 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 <laughs> oh mg be able to experience any book movie or tv show for the first time again or be able to forget any embarrassing moment you've ever had guys guys the things i would do to watch the vampire diaries again for the first time to watch the walking dead for the first time i don't care about embarrassing moments I mean, yes, they do creep into my mind, and I do have to like, hit myself a couple times to make them go away, but like, whatever, you know. For the first time, I'm home, I'm in the river, saying my goodbyes. I think I'm done, guys. I'm so tired, I actually can't do this right now. I, I don't know, I keep yawning, and it's just like guys it's just terrible um i'll see you guys next week hopefully with a more entertaining video because this was just last second because i have no wi-fi and i can't really do anything um so yeah okay bye guys love you bye <laughs>